How's everybody doing out there? This is bad 66 Chevelles here and I've been working on my Chevelle here. Really did a whole lot to it. Finally got my uh, diode on here on the alternator. Got that on there. That way it keeps current flowing one direction. That little diode right here. Y'all can see that. Gotta be careful not to break in. I broke the other one by accident. So you gotta be careful with that. I put that diode in here. Because what would happen, you turn the key off and it stay running because the this current was flowing through back through to that coal wire and it's still getting power and still letting it run. So now put that on there, that little diode, and uh, when you turn the key off, it turns off just like it's supposed to. Did that, they're only like ten dollars on eBay. I got that and put that on there. He really did a whole lot to it. I've fired it up and run it a couple times. Took down the road, but other than that, that's about it. I think I showed y'all. I got all the new brake lines on it. Got a new uh, distribution block down there. It's hard to find a video on them distribution blocks, but I had a little bit of trouble trying to find that bolt hole on there. It's way up underneath this frame here. up underneath there you can see that really hard to see there it is it's that bolt right there I looked all over the place and could not find no pictures and then I bolted all that on there and I had to be that one because that's the only hole that was there so that's where that bolt used to hold that distribution block up which is right above there. I guess the video right there. And the parking cables on it too. They've been on there for a while. I've did the brakes on this about two years ago. Still got a long ways to go. I got the dry shaft out of it right now because now I'm finally ready to get my new shifter and all on it. So I got the transmission lowered down and uh I just got an old 1310 slip yoke I just stuck in it. That's just the old one I have that way. Don't let all the gear roll out. But I had to go through and uh, all these three holes right here for the new shifter I'm putting on were full of mud divers. All three of them. I got that one finally cleaned out. Now I'm working on getting these two cleaned out because I got to have them for my new shifter. Because my old shifter, what was happening is it just none of it was right because when i all bolted it all up it was rubbing the floor about right in here you can see where it was rubbing it right here because what was happening is that old shifter had like a spacer under it and it was raising this transmission up too high and uh was making it rub So I'm, you know, I'm fixing to fix all that stuff. You can get rid of all that and fix this thing right. It's really almost right where it's sitting right now. It's just a little bit higher, but it's about where it's supposed to be. Got another cross member I'm put on here too. This cross member I had to fix because somebody had cut this mount off and had it like almost all the way over here. So I cut it off and put it back in the center so it's centered up so everything would bolt up. It's not the prettiest weld, but it holds. Went through and got some taps and trying to tap all them bolts out. All them bolt holes. And we're coming there. We're coming a long ways. The three right there were full of mud divers. Let me show y'all what I was talking about. I got that little spacer here. All right, so here's a spacer I was talking about. It's this piece right here, it was underneath the transmission. And when you bolt that up and bolt the transmission mount up, up underneath here, it's just raising that transmission up way too high. It was raising it up way too high and it was causing clearance issues. Look on the other side, it's got this bolt right here which was rubbing my floor. You can see where it was rubbing it. Right there. If you don't see that. Light's terrible out here. 
that was rubbing against my floor right there and I'm just uh, I'm gonna fix this thing right this is the old hearse shifter I got a new one I'm gonna put on here because the new one it, it gets rid of all this bracket and uh, the other issue I got too is my shifting rod the reverse which is this one right here right up in here where my thumb is was rubbing that cross member which is right in here it was rubbing it so my other one's got all the right shifting rods and everything and get rid of that spacer because I was looking on pictures of other 67 Chevelles that got four speeds and stuff this one's a Saginaw but that doesn't really matter but I ain't never seen one with a spacer so I don't know what's up with that spacer because I was just going to take it off and just do away with it because you got these bolt holes right here but none of that's going to work because somebody looked like they drilled it out or something I mean the shifter itself it works fine it works perfect it's just it's got it's not the right one it'll work in this car but it ain't it's just not right because it's causing too many clearance issues because I can tell when you got it in fourth gear well really shifting from first to second to third to fourth and all that and let's see it was rubbing right there I can hear it just barely rubbing so we're gonna fix all that I'm gonna fix this thing right these shifters right here, these ain't these her shifters are ridiculous in price. I love them, they are nice, they're real nice, but they are ridiculous in price. That brand new one I bought was almost six hundred dollars just for this piece. That's from the shifter handle just to this piece down here. This is what you're paying for, is this. Then I had to buy the shifting rods, these three shifting rods, and they were two hundred dollars just for these. Because the other issue I had too, I, I was going to reuse these on my new shifter, but then I'm going to be in the same situation where it won't clear. So I just bought everything new and we'll put everything new on it and fix it up right. So hopefully when I get it back together, it'll won't have all these clearance issues. Because I love this four speed. The Saginaw four speed. I love that Saginaw. I need to clean it up and paint it. I had the cover all and all off of it about two years ago and checked it and somebody's evidently been through it because it's got all new synchronizers and uh, all the gears and everything look pretty new and I think somebody's done been through it at one time. But I'm gonna fix this thing right. I'm tired of having all these issues with it. Because the other issue I got too is when I had the shifter knob on, I was taking in uh when I'm trying to move the body around, because if you look at down the transmission tunnel, the transmission is actually sitting this way a little bit. And all that, it's not the transmission either, because I got to looking at it, and all that's lined up perfect. I mean, you look all the way down the center of it, and all that's lined up fine. It's the body, is what it is. So I'm going to take in uh, why I got the dry shaft and everything out. I'm going to try and line this body up a little, little, little bit better. Get all this stuff straightened out. And like I said in a previous video too, the other issue I had too was my new trunk pan. All the braces, every single one of them is way off. Now part of it's the body. I was talking about these braces and stuff and they're just way, way off. I actually took and drilled out all the spot welds and this one right here and bolted it on like like it's supposed to be. And uh body's still gotta go over a little bit. That'll get rid of some of that, but they're still way off. I think it's the way they're stamped. They're just not very good stampings. I mean as you can see, because this wheel housing is supposed to line up. This actually comes down. I've trimmed all the rod off of it. Still gotta trim it a little bit better and patch it. Because eventually down the road, I'm going to put all new wheel housings in it and put full quarters on it. But I just want to patch them for now. Just so I can uh, get this car where I can actually drive it. 
But if you look over here, I mean, it's real close to the frame. And if you look over here, you got way more space. So the whole body, that's pretty much telling me it needs to go over that way. So I'm going to shift it over a little bit. Do that. And then hopefully it'll get this lined up halfway decent. Because I went through and did all these spot wheels and drilled every one of them out. Then I was going to take it and uh, set my trunk pan in and come back and weld all these spot wheels back in so it would be lined up right because they're still off. So I got like three different things going on. My trunk pan's way off the way the braces are welded on. And then the body, of course, needs to go over a little bit. And then I couldn't get the body over because that shifter down there because it was hitting the floor pan when you go to take all the body mounts off and move it over to center that floor pan up with that transmission all of it's just way off so that and that that'll allow me to shift the body over so that'll take care of that issue and get that new shifter in there that should get rid of that and then hopefully i can finally get my braces in and get everything lining up halfway decent all right so here's my new trunk pan here that's the brace i just showed a second ago that's the one i took off i'm gonna go through i've been taking a drill and i'm gonna drill this one out over here take that one off bolt that to the frame and then go through and take this rear one off and these holes i know ain't right because i took a tape and measured it because here's the body mount hole from right here and the other one is right here and they're just way way off so i don't even think they drilled these holes right because where it was lining up on the car the body mount holes right here but it really needs to be about right in here so i might have to take and i'll draw the spot welds off on this brace right here and then if it comes down to it i'll just take and uh drill these couple spot welds out here and drill a new hole here move this over then i'll come back and weld this hole up and grind it down that way you'll never know but i've just these trunk pans this is an amd trunk floor and it's terrible terrible nothing's lining up right the pan itself lines up perfect i had to tweak it a little bit around in here but the pan itself lines up pretty good but i want to make a quick video here i hope you all like it on the chevelle it's been a while and uh hope you all are enjoying the videos and don't, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming up on this trunk pan.